bottom of my heart to the depth of my soul. Thank you. I'm not saying yes, Lord. I'm saying thank you. <laughs> Completely yes. My soul say yes. From the bottom of my heart now to the depth of my soul, thank you. I thank the Most High God. I bless the creator of the heavens, and the creator of the earth. I thank the shepherd of our soul. I bless him who again admit today possible. I thank him for the grace to stand. I thank him for every opportunity that is given us. May his name be praised and forever glorified. Now, coming to the other angle, I'd like to thank everyone who made it to church this morning and uh, for your patience. At least I'm waiting till I'm given an opportunity to come up. Uh, may the Lord reward you accordingly in Jesus' name. Then I'd like to thank Pastor and Mrs. again for allowing me. Uh, Pastor said a few things before I came up, uh, and he said I was sowing. And then I reaped. <laughs> but what he didn't mention is that uh, I did exactly all he taught me. Um, and so we're still standing. I thank God for the fellowship uh, in the light. I bless the name of the Lord for the opportunity to be together. And I'm not taking this for granted every opportunity to come here comes to me in two ways. The first one is I keep thinking it's a review process for me. Like you are brought home to come and do some stuff so that we check whether you are still in order. And the second one, I know this place, the way I see you guys, is like a research institute. You do so much of research, research institute. So, so I get scared coming to a research institute. But in a way, I always rely on the backing of the Holy Spirit. And that means if it's getting out of hand, I would, I would change gear by bringing the Holy Spirit. At least by speaking tongues, you can't interpret. <laughs> so, uh, so I thank you. It's, it's a good family. And I bless the name of the Lord for being a part of this great family. I'm not taking that for granted. Amen. Now, this is the month of review. And that's looking at the years behind, considering the present time, and then looking ahead. So it's like a month of emphasis, talking about the same subject in different patterns for several days. And uh, the focus for this season has been plans, purposes, and the pursuit. I'd been here once in the course of this month. Uh, though that was for a prayer meeting. And I consider this opportunity one that is good for teaching and deliberation. No one is super when it comes to the moment of worship. And I think as believers, we got to understand this. Everyone here this morning must have come with something by which we worship the Lord. And so there's no superstar. I've not brought anything outside of that which is common. First Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 26. 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 26. The Bible says, Take note of this, brethren, 
when you come together, is there any one of you who has a hymn? Does anyone have a song? Is there anyone with a teaching? If you take it from the message translation, I said, do this each time you come together to worship. Prepare something. So we come to church prepared to contribute our quota. Now, it's just a hype when you run after series of invitations asking you to come and meet a superstar. The only superstar is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When you come together, you are expected to bring something yourself. Bring something. If you, so all of us here today are ministering together. Uh, the choir had taken us in hymns and songs. And then it says, is there any one of you who has a prophecy? Is there any one of you who has a revelation? Is there any one of you who has a teaching? Is there any one of you who has a prayer? He said, bring everything together for the edification of all. And what edification means is simply bringing insight. That's greater understanding. So we come together with this great expectation that obviously we're going to learn something new. That's the essence of our fellowship. We, we keep learning from day to day. Psalm 119, verse 34 and 35. Uh, give me understanding so that I can make use of your laws. Just give me insight. Let me understand what you are saying. Uh, it's like a, a season of preparation. We sit together, we check the word of God, then I go out to use it. Uh, I get my, my results, you get your results. Uh, the brother who led the prayers here a while ago spoke about being the salt of the head. And uh, it will interest you that God had prepared you and I for different purposes, uh, particularly to our nation. If you read the book of Isaiah chapter 13, the book of Isaiah chapter 13 verse 2, starting from 2 says, you lift up the banners. Uh, and it says, so that you can get to the gate of the nobles. And now God has prepared people. There's nothing happening that God hasn't made preparation for. If you know how to prepare for winter, cold, and the rest of it, how much more will God prepare for every season? Now, Isaiah 13, 2 says, you lift up the banner. Make it welcoming. Make it attractive. Let people enter into the nerve center of power. If you read Isaiah 13, verse 2 and 3 in the message translation, it talks about the nerve center of power. Now, what we are still doing as a people is working in the periphery of power. Until we get the right people into the nerve center of power. I'm tired of praying that uh, a political party should select a good candidate. What if there's no good candidate amongst them? So, a few days ago, I, I told my people in church, I said, very shortly, we'll be checking your attendance with the membership of a political party. If you come in and you are not a card carry member, we will drive you back. I said, it's too late for me to play politics. But I said, we will, we will finance it. We will send you back to those world centers. It doesn't take anything to become a leader. Just, just be going to their meetings. I told them, and I've been saying it repeatedly, I was doing politics before I came to ministry. I participated effectively uh, at my ward level to my state level. Uh, it's, it's because of our gross neglect. That's why all these people found their inroad into those places. You don't need money to be a politician. Don't let them deceive you. Those who were in control of politics before, Baba Lion Day Nibadan was a teacher. Lama Additional was a teacher. Adekunle Ajasi in Nundu State was a principal. Ade Farati was a teacher. What business was Jack Kondi running in Lagos before he took control of the 
machinery of governance in Lagos. But you know, because you need to buy people whose consciences are cheap. And that's why money bags are taking over politics. You close that work two o'clock, you are going home to sleep. Doing what? Go and join them in their meetings. And then tomorrow when they want to fly a kite, they have to check you very well. That, uh, we know that that brother will not accept it. So it's good to pray. But let's make our impo- in, uh, involvement physical. Isaiah 13, verse 2 and 3. Go home and do a research on it. There is nothing God hasn't prepared people for. But send them to the nerve center of power. The nerve center of power. Uh, stop them from just moving on the periphery of power. Let them go to where Amen. Okay. Yeah. He hasn't put this one on. So, like I was saying, we come together only to search the scriptures and find out the nuggets in them by which we go back into the world and uh, we become so relevant. We've been talking about plans, talking about purposes. I'm posted since the beginning of the month. I'm still going to say mine. Uh, no matter how small it is, just add it to uh, the, the volume of information and understanding that you received already. Uh, the last time I came, I spoke about uh, the most important plan which are the plans that God has for us. But today, I just try and create a balance by bringing my plans into the preordained plans and purposes of God. Uh, And so, I'm going to talk simply from Psalms chapter 40, verse 6 to 9, or verse 6 to 8 first. I'll bring 9 later. My sermon is titled The Volume of the Book. The Volume of the Book. Psalm chapter 40, verse 6 to 8. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened. Please help me underline that one. My ears you have opened. Bond offering and sin offering you did not require. Verse 7. Then I said, Behold, I come. In the scroll of the book, it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O my God, and your law is within my heart. From the Old King James translation, Psalms 40, verse 7 and 8. Then said I, Lo, I come. In the volume of the book, it is written of me, I delight to do thy will. O my God, yea, thy law is within my heart. Hebrews chapter 10. And verse 7. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 7. Then I said, Behold, I have come. In the volume of the book, it is written of me to do your will, O God. Within the context of our narrative this morning, it's become very important that we talk about our plans, the purposes for us, and the pursuits of those plans in line with God's destiny plan for each one of us. God has a destiny plan for every one of us. Now, if we talk about plans, 
without quickly reminding us of the other plans, it will become contradistinctive. God has, there's an original plan before we started to make plans. Now, if I don't understand what the original plans are, I'll be walking outside of original. Uh, that's why organizations come out with their vision statement uh, so that you don't get into the right environment and you are doing the, 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 the exact opposite of the reason why the organization is set up. So it's important that I know why an organization exists before I decide that I'm going to join them. And as the greatest organ, human beings that God created, uh, again, it's important that I understand who I am, who I'm, I, I am in the Lord and what are God's plans for me. The passage of the scriptures that we've, we just read was Jesus' pronouncement uh, as prophesied by David. Now, he is the book himself. He wrote the book. Uh, but then he came to make an open declaration of what had been written. Lo, I come. It's like, yes, I'm now here to give actions to what has been written concerning me. If I have my plans, which everybody has, is duty bound to develop. And I don't know what the original plans are for me. Then there will be a clash of interest. It will be the same person fighting himself or herself. A vision, first and foremost, will be entered. That's how God works. He will tell you you will do a thing. Uh, if, you, if you know him and understand him, that's the essence of prayers. Be praying. Because that I told you you will do a thing does not mean that you will understand how to perform it. Be praying. Be praying. Once you get an instruction from the Lord, Daniel chapter 9 and from verse 20 to 22. Daniel chapter 9, verse 20 to 22. Daniel said, the very first day the vision came to me, I saw an angel. I saw an angel in that vision. I saw the angel. But he said, as soon as I saw the angel, I started to pray. I was praying. I was making supplications. People who make light of prayers, uh, you, you, you won't get tired of receiving fresh vision. Because there is no accountability over the last one. You just got it and you, you felt you had, you had it all. It was a partial revelation. From the day I was told about the vision, I started to pray and I was making supplications. Then in verse 22, same Daniel now said, the angel I saw at the first time now appeared to me, saying to me, now Daniel, thou beloved, I have come to give you the skill to understand. Now, you saw a thing. You saw a thing which is normal. It happens to everyone of us from time to time. 2012, God gave me an instruction. Start a project. We we're supposed to start a clinic and then be feeding people with food. So I set up a committee who started to meet. Eventually, they were able to start the clinic. And they attend to people for free every Monday. But the feeding aspect, we did everything. 2013, 2014, 2015, we couldn't get around it. And in 2016, I'd even forgotten about what I said in 2012. The government couldn't pay salaries for months. And I couldn't rest from that burden. Uh, so I went to the church. Uh, I first had a meeting with 
my workers. And I said, even if it's the civil servants amongst us, uh, let's give them hope. I didn't know how we would still do it. But I came, I came to church and a friend of mine was visiting. I was talking about seed. Uh, seed time and harvest time. I was trying to explain a few things about tithing. That most churches talk about tithes. I don't talk about tithes. Uh, I like to talk about seed. Uh, because I perceive that the reason why people can't pay tithes is because they don't sow seed. So I was teaching. It was a Syria. Uh, I was telling them about seed. That if you have an orange tree from where you pluck orange fruits, even if you, are, you were so hungry and you hurt your first harvest, as long as there's still somewhere to go back to, you will get another one to correct the mistake of the past. So I was just teaching them. I said, you know, your tithes represent a tent of what you have earned. Uh, that means it's the end point. And I'm not interested in the end point. Your, your tithe is a percentage of the profit you get after you have made transactions. Now, what if there are no transactions? What would you bring? So, in a way, I'm not that patient to wait for tithes. I like to tell you that everything that God has made, he has put a seed in it. And I, he, he made it so uncomfortable for you to eat the seed. That if you are licking oranges now, the, the fluids will be coming. You are enjoying it. If you want to mess up that experience, eat the seed. So I said, yam tuba, as straight as it is, there's a point you get to. If you must enjoy your pandel yam, you mustn't touch it. Now, I spoke about grains, all manner of things, Genesis chapter 1 verse 11. He has put the seed of everything he created in itself. Now, you took 10,000, you had everything. You hurt everything. You took another 20,000. You hurt everything. Now, how do you reproduce to the extent of bringing tithes again? So I said, no, 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 no. I don't think I'm patient for tithes. If you put a grain of corn in the, in the, on the ground, when it's coming out, it will definitely give you more than 100 grains. And Jesus Christ himself said, well, not until this grain gets to the ground and dies. It will abide alone. So I was preaching. I was just doing my normal. And my friend visiting from America got angry. I simply asked him to greet the church. Then he gets so angry with what I've been saying. That people don't so see. They don't do this. They, I, I almost was going to ask them to stop him. But I didn't know. God was going to give performance to the vision I received in 2012. So, he buttressed what I've been saying, taught the people more about seed sowing. And so they were sowing this seed. They were bringing, they were bringing, they were bringing. Until I couldn't understand what to do with the money. So I went to pray again. And he said, did you not tell me you now want a skill to understand the vision I gave to you four years ago. I said, so what about that? He said, the money in your hands is to achieve that vision. Now, it became seamless. It became so easy to ask the people to fill a card. If you don't have anything to eat, provision will be made. Just tell us the things you need, soap and everything. And nobody was coming to ask me, uh, Pastor, how do we get this wrong? What I'm saying is, understand that before you ever had a plan, somebody was planning about it. Somebody was planning about it. And that first day that you had the plan, you have not seen the end of it. Essence of prayers, supplications, waiting on the Lord is to get clarification. So Daniel said, the angel that I saw the first day now came to me and said to me, thou Daniel beloved, 
I have come to give you the skill to understand. So, in the midst of your plans, recognize that you are not there alone. The Bible is a very interesting book. Uh, some of us are late comers. And so, when we came, we see people talk so much about the scriptures. And we wanted to know easily what they had learned. So, we summarized the Bible. And this is my summary of the Bible. I still use it till now. From Genesis to Revelation, each book, each book has been packaged to tell you how a problem started and eventually how it was resolved. Period. And I recognize that in each book of the scripture, God had packaged every problem to produce a star. That's the Bible. Check Genesis up to the end of it. Various stars came from Genesis, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph. Exodus, Moses was the star produced. Go to Numbers, 603,500 people trained in the army. Trained. The government spent money training 603,500 soldiers in NDA Kaduna. When they were going to enter the promised land, only two of them were left. Just Caleb and Joshua. The rest of the people perished in the wilderness for disobedience. Go through the books. It will interest you. So, so that as you are reading, you'll be seeing yourself in the books. And you'll be so eager to emerge as the next star. Check judges. The crisis in Jephthah's house started because of him. They drove him house because they said he was the son of an alot. But crisis erupted in the city. And they started looking for somebody who would defend them. Judges chapter 6, you will hear about the Israelites were farming. They were planting things. But the Amalekites were coming to mess up their harvest. And so Gideon went to hide somewhere trying to survive. And he didn't know that it was the next star to emerge. So God went to meet him in the cave and he said, you are a mighty man of valor. Read Samson and the rest of them. Get to Ruth. Three people got married. What's your business with that one? Their husbands died. Then three of them were supposed to be going to Bethlehem, but only two went. And it was a setup to produce a star in Ruth. There was crisis in Shushan. Esther was there as a slave girl. She was doing her business. She wasn't there when Vashti became Ruth to the king. In no time, it was to produce a queen in Esther, produce a superstar in Mordecai. David was in the farm, taking care of his father's sheep. The Philistines were harassing the Israelites. He was doing a different thing. But God was preparing him to slaughter Goliath. He became a star. Check it. Nehemiah, Ezra, every book of the scripture, it's, there's a pre-planned agenda that will produce a star. Listen, brother. The, stop talking about the crisis in Nigeria as if it's a crisis. It is a crisis waiting for you to rise to stardom. If you, you know, you are a mechanic, you are trained yourself on how to handle some brand of vehicles when they were not even using them in Nigeria. Then somebody brought the car, maybe the brain bus, packed up. All manner of people had attempted to fix it. They couldn't fix it. They now brought it to you. You who had been trained on how to handle that kind of a vehicle, you, you joined them to be complaining. Mm. That's like the present day church. You were told about gross darkness. Were you not expecting it? Who told you it will not happen? But it says, well, you arise in the midst of it now and shine. And because we had not adequately prepared our people, 
So we are joining them to say things are not this, things are not that. And God is saying, shut up your mouth. You are trained for such a time as this. Now, what's your business? Rise up and do something. You know, it, 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 in, in all of the events of the scriptures, look for why God put them together. Read Psalm 105, verse 16 to 19. The, the, the famine in Egypt was a setup for Joseph. It didn't just happen. Psalm 105, 16, the Bible says, he called a famine. It was, it was God himself. Famine was where it was. But the Bible says, moreover, he called for a famine in the land. He destroyed all the provision of bread. It was a setup. Now, seven things. Now, say, he sent a man before them. Joseph, who was sold as a slave. 18. 18 says, they hurt his feet with fetters. He was laid in irons. 19. Now says, until 19. Until, until the time that his word came to pass. The word of the Lord tested him. The king sent for him. He made him a ruler of his people. Everything that you read, story or whatever in the scripture, is a setup to produce a new star. There's already a plan on, on the ground. If you fail to understand this part, then you can't understand the rest. There's, a, there's a, an original plan on the ground. If you superimpose your plan without recognizing the original intent, then it, 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 it makes activities burdensome. The one who said, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, already has said, The era of sacrifices and burnt offerings were over since the day came. Isaiah chapter 1. If you read verse 13, Isaiah prophesying about Jesus Christ said, Now, is this what I've asked you to bring? Do you think you can get results by trying to justify yourself? You think you can fix things? Now, he said, The greatest sacrifice you cannot offer. In 17, going to 18, he began to talk about the sacrifice that is needful, particularly in 17, 16 to 17, he said, rather than you go and check yourself, put things right, then come back to me, and now let us reason together. Then you will get clarity. But he said, you are still trying to, to offer sacrifices. Uh, if you read that passage, I don't know if you have uh, the message translation here verse 13 it mentions some of the things we're still doing now that's first uh, Isaiah chapter 113 uh, like what Isaiah called um, sacrifices he said sacrifices incense is an abomination to me the new moons the sabbaths and the calling of assemblies I cannot endure any longer now, if you read it in the message translation, you will get it. Conferences, seminars, all of these things. He said, I'm tired. Uh, it, uh, unfortunately, you don't have the message translation here. But if you have it on your phone or anywhere, check it. All of these things you are trying to please me with. I, I'm, I'm done with them. Since... Jesus Christ came, he communicates to the ears. Ears. My ears as he opened. The, the ears. Osea chapter 6, verse 3. He will tell you. He said two things in Osea chapter 6, verse 3. The, the same verse. He said, Let us know. Let us pursue. Now, so he, he said, let us know, let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. 
is going forth is established as the morning. Now, you don't learn anything about God and you are hasty about it thinking it will go into expiration. It's going forth. It's established as the morning. Now, in said, it will come to us like the rain, like the latter and former rain to the head. If you pick verse 6 of it, still talking about all this trying to please God by what I know. He said, dear, verse 6, 6, not 5, verse 6, he said, for I desire mercy and not sacrifice. And I desire the knowledge of God more than burnt offering. I desire. Now, assuming you are trying to please someone and the person is telling you what he likes and you, you are saying, no, 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 I must please this fellow. And you brought the first meal. He said, no, 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 but I told you I don't eat this kind of food. Then you, you went again and repackaged what he said he doesn't want. Now, if he gives you a third opportunity, uh, that means you have found favor. There's an original plan on grant. If I, if I understand it, then things become so easy for me. Micah chapter 6, verse 6 to 7. He said, what do you think you can bring to me to please me? What do you think? Can, if you want to show that you can please me, can you give me your firstborn? If you want to show that you can please me, read. He said, with what shall I come before the Lord? And bow myself before the high God. Shall I come before him with burnt offerings? With calves a year old? Seven. Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams? Ten thousands rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression? The fruit of my body? For the sin of my soul? Now, how well, how well can I please God? How well? Can, can I look at... Hey, the best thing that God has given to me and kill him to please him. What can I do? What can I do? How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? I will raise the cup of salvation and I will call on God's name. That's Catholic. How else? Somebody knew I was coming. He made plans for me. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I have kids. If they have to move from one city to another... All I do is book the ticket and push it to them. And I'll be calling them, please don't miss the flight. Oh. Don't miss the flight. Oh. You know, uh, there was a day I, I bought a, a, a ticket that was not re rebookable. Since that day, I've been rebooking non rebookable tickets. Mm. My daughter was moving from a city to another. And so she told me she had to move. So I saw a very cheap ticket advertised. And I bought for her. Please, quickly. So I told her, I said, please move. Oh, he said, Daddy, I've called you by. I said, move quickly. Oh. Then she took her time and got to the airport. The aircraft was still there, but they had closed the counter. Uh, so she called me. He said, Daddy, I missed my flight. I said, before I call. He said, what do I do now? I said, go to the counter. The counter. They will attend to you. And when he got there, they checked the system and told her what to pay. Much more than what I bought originally. So I told the mom, I said, not me and you again. Because it takes just a little token to make your ticket rebookable. I said, not me. No, I'm not trying that business again. Ah, she would tell me, in her own case, she can never miss a fly. I said, well, in my own case, what if I miss? A friend of mine was going to back to UK. He had bought a promo ticket. 
Now, rather than just take a cab from Ibadan and move to Lagos, he asked a friend to take him. They were not familiar with this rough driving on Lagos Ibadan Expressway. So he got to the airport and he missed his flight. Oh, he cost the day he bought the first ticket. <laughs> he cost the day he bought the first ticket. So he called me and said, can you imagine? Can you imagine? I bought, I bought the original ticket two ways for 135000 They're asking me to pay 170000 for one way. I said, if I were you, I would buy a fresh ticket too. Yeah. So let me just go. Let me just go. Now I'm saying, as unkind, as careless as we are, we know how to plan ahead of the days for our children. Are you saying God is that careless? Not to have a plan for me. Now, so, as I grow to maturity, there will be a proclivity, proclivity in me to do certain things. The, the urge will be coming. As I take steps to do those things, it's important I ponder on the mind of the one who already had been planning. Someone had been planning. A young team plan, not your wedding, your mommy, buy any machine, buy any machine, buy any machine. Oh, then, so. Just told you about day, my jo jo jo, my she everything. Oh, I don't your wedding, Omo. Omo ni kala kuta lo unti feshi. Iya o ni wabe. Eno kwe, ekwe lori ekwe. Sorry for those of you who can't flow my way. You understand? Those who can't flow my way, God will help you. Let me give you this gist. Why you must learn how to flow my way? Someone had been doing business around my office. Quite a nice person. Doing business. Our product is one of the best. Of good quality. When she started, people were bombarding the place. But then suddenly, <laughs> just like uh, is the nature around here, they started to withdraw. And then nothing was happening again. And this fellow had been very nice to me. So she came around to ask for just uh, an assistance. And the Holy Spirit in me said, talk to this fellow. So I, I called her with her staff. I said, let me make a good confession. That I patronize your product very well, but I don't come there. I send people. I said, you have such a nice product. I said, but I think your marketing is wrong. I said, you are selling the product above your environment. Uh, so she gave me attention. Now let, me, um, let me just give you operation research for free. Uh, so I said, your main product that is going to bring profitability is very expensive. And people won't come there. I said, but you know the things that they would take ordinarily. The same generator that you had put on to sell that main product will be on when you are selling the other things that they can afford. So I said, in between, the ones who can take your product, the original one will be taking it, and gradually, the infection will be getting to the other people. So I said, I don't like the way this place is always desolate. So she looked at me and said, what you are saying makes sense. I said, that's exactly what I am doing. <laughs> she said, what are you are doing? I said, yes. Do you sell products? I said, no. I said, the word of God. She said, talk to me more. I said, in this environment, the love of God, the love for God is small, shallow. That people don't go to God because they think he has a need. They come to him trying to receive something. The moment you tell them about the need of God, they switch off. So I said, you know what we do? We would, we would give them that their original product. Alagbara lolo mi. Alagbara ni jesumi. 
Oba to la ye ate kunre ni kawo ko ma son tikol ko ma son tikol ko ma son tikol And when they are done 30 minutes we sit them down Then we're going to the word of God I said that's how we have been getting our result yeah. She said and we have been here together <laughs> I said, look at, look at this environment. What do you, this is the highbrow area of this city. Don't you people look very well when you drive? I said, take it from this junction. They started this shopping complex right in my presence here. The day they built it, they took all the shops. One year after, it's only a pharmaceutical that is left there. I said, check the next building. Don't you see? I said, the next building here. The owner bakes a lovely bread. She's trying to just manage to survive. Then one rich fellow took the other duplex, renovated it very well. She's still in power. It doesn't mean that she's making profit. I said, let's go to the third building. This one started. This, the, the name of the company was complete. When they came, they started with Tant Lysa. I said, now, the tent is gone. It's the lizard that is left. Two years ago, they partitioned it into two. Then one guy, Vibrant, came. Rented the place. He put play. Drive past the place today. is open to let. Uh, shake it till you get to Sectariat. Come to the right. One other guy has a supermarket. Nothing. The other guy is doing very well. From that place, save access bank. All the buildings to the right are desolate. Uh, she said, no, we can't close like that. So she sent somebody to her office. She said, tell everybody to close down. Come, 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 come. I thought I was joking. 25 people came. She said, please, I don't want to hear it alone. Let me tell them. Tell them again. So that's why I said, those of you can flow my way. Mm -hmm. You just permit me. I have about 25 more minutes. Um, well, you can't, you can't run your life outside of the original plan by the master planner. You can't. It will just be a waste of effort. You'll be trying, but you'll be wondering why things are not working. Now, so someone is asking, Pastor, I haven't said all of this. How do I understand this plan and I bring my plan into it? First Timothy chapter 1 and verse 18. First Timothy 1 and verse 18. Paul was writing to Timothy. And Paul said to Timothy, he said, this charge I commit to you, son Timothy, according to the prophecies previously, that's previously made concerning you, that by them you may wage the good warfare. You may turn the prophecies to plans. I, I charge you, Timothy, I charge you, son Timothy, according to those things that were spoken previously about you. When you understand them, you will do well. I know you have plans, Timothy, but don't forget the things that had been spoken about you. Pick them up, and then you will get good results. Jeremiah chapter 1. Jeremiah chapter 1. And verse 5. Jeremiah 1, 5. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. I'm still talking about the things that had been on ground before we came on the scene. Psalm 139, 16 and 17. Psalm 139, 16, and 17. Your eyes saw my substance, being yet unformed. And in your book, 
They all were written. They all were written. The days fashioned for me, when as yet there were none of them. How precious also are your thoughts to me. Oh God, how great is the sum, is the sum of them. Now, if you go back to Psalm 40, 6 to 9 that we were reading, uh, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Now, it's important for every believer to understand that you started to exist. You began to exist before your naming ceremony. Otherwise, you won't get anything right. Bye, she why? A miniwa. We are spirit beings. We have been assisting before we went into our mother's womb. Only that you were known to God. Even fella Nicola Pokuti, Abami. Go on the internet. There's an interview he granted on his 53rd birthday. Fella was smoking India hemp. And the, um, the press man was asking him questions about his sons, Femi and Sheung. So he said, me, I don't have time to teach anybody. He said, they, 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 were, they have been saying I'm the one who trained Femi. He said, I didn't teach him anything. He said, oh, the only thing I know is that he is my son. And that everybody who had come to this world had come for a purpose. He said, you don't need to go to school. He said, so I am the one who brought him out of school myself. He said, I simply put him in my band. He said, I taught him only small things. I don't have time to teach anybody. He said, look at him now. He's filling a hall. Whenever he has a concert. He said, he taught himself. Now, he said, Sheo, the younger one. He said, that one, I didn't even have time for him. He said, I, I asked him not to go to school, but his mom compared him to go to school. He said, the only thing I did was I took him to a show in America. He said, the moment he was able to stand before white people, he lost everything called a sense of intimidation. He said, go and ask people who operate in the spirit realm. He said, ask Oboni. Ask Rosicrucian. They will tell you. They will tell you that everyone who had come to this world has come for a purpose and is a spirit being. He said, me, I'm a spirit man. I'm a spiritual man. Now, so he said, let me give you one. He said, this thing called W-O-R-L-D. He said, the hell in it was an introduction of the white man. He said, the original word, W-O-R-L-D, was a Latin word that doesn't exist again. He said, the original thing that works now is W-O-R-D. I know this is a research institute. You can go and check it. I'm quoting for a fella verbatim. He said, W-O-R-D, oral. W O R D. He said, That's the power that is controlling everything. Now, I told some of my friends, I said, You know, because Fela lacked knowledge of Jesus Christ, that he, what he was trying to say is that from that moment when Jesus Christ became flesh, W O R L D faded away. You just go on the internet, click fellas interview on his 50th birthday. You see it. Eight minutes. You can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. He said, the only thing that controls the universe is W-O-R-D. He said, particularly when you are from Africa. He said, the African language has simplified everything. He said, for instance, He said, if you had never 
gone through any challenge before? Go and marry. He said, what they are saying is, what be yawo? That shall not be your lot in Jesus' name. Man, marriage is blissful. But I'm telling you how unbelievers use the word. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. For he, he opposed everything by the word of his power. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Just meditate on the word. And by so doing, you make your way prosperous. And then you have good sources. Everything had been prearranged. When we came, when we came, that's why Jesus Christ said, I, 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 I have always been a spirit. He simply prepared a body for me. A body he has prepared for me. This body is not to do my will. It's to do your will. Oh Lord. I had always been in existence. Because he's a God that operates by principles. He had said he would never interfere in the affairs of the head. Psalms 115 and verse 16. Heaven of heavens belongs to God. The head he has given to the children of men. Now, because he had said he would never be involved in what is going on here physically. From time to time, he prepared vessels. Vessels that he will use. So, he, he, as I'm standing here now, I am not a natural person. In that fellow's interview, he said, every spiritual man knows that you might be black. And people will say you are a black man, whereas you are a said, Because this thing outside makes no sense. Makes no sense. Let me tell you. Eh, eh, this young boy who came to, young man rather, who came to Nigeria recently, this Facebook guy. In one of his interviews, he said when he was having problems, when he was having challenges, and nothing was working, he said he went to meet Steve Jobs. He said he gave him the name of a shrine in India. Now, the ungodly knows that you cannot survive without being spiritual. The ungodly. The, that, <laughs> he, he said he lost direction. I'm, I'm talking about that which is evil now. How much more you who carry that which is righteous? How do I understand these plans and how can I use them? Simply by revelation. 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 If the more of it I'm getting, the better. I'm able to carry out the plans. John chapter 4, 21 to 24. John chapter 4, 21 to 24. It says, um, the Father is spirit and truth and is seeking those kind of people to worship him. Uh, verse 24, it says, God is spirit. And so those who must worship him must be spirit as well. They must be spirit as well. Now, if those former patterns were beautiful. How much more this present pattern of revelation that comes through the aid of the Holy Spirit. If there must first and foremost be the passing away of one before there could be an emergence of another. If you cannot put aside a system that you felt was working, what you are saying is that you are not ready to experience the new. Now, in those days, they will send prophets, mediums, to go and tell you what next must be done. But in this present dispensation, the Holy Spirit resides here. He's waiting for me to talk to him, ask him questions. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 10. 2 Corinthians 3, 10. The Bible says, if that wish is passing away, 2 Corinthians 3, 10. If that wish is passing away, was glorious. Then he says, how much more, how much more is this new glory that is coming? For if what is passing away was glorious, what remains is much more 
glorious. There's a glory that exists. New Old King James calls it a glory that exists. A g- ability to figure out a thing and immediately get response from above. Telling you, please, but that don't waste time. That thing is not going to work. Or, or when it's going to work, he says, well, go ahead. Because it's going to work. He said, for even what was made glorious had no glory in this respect because of the glory that exists. The former strategy doesn't work again. If the former strategy worked and it got result, how much more now? How much more now this present strategy? What was the former strategy? Amos chapter 3 verse 7. God does not do a thing without revealing it to his sons, the prophets. So, I'm a wawoli kakiri. I went to ferry, you know. Ah. Bobo, beshe poto, mbilo ni. Tori kwe, oju yin la ni o. Te e bari, you know, she nile akun wawo. Oh, one thing also. Kien ti debi bae, kien so kwe, e yankan wa anu yin bi, isho lo je la le anan. Isho, isho lo je. Isho, tani oruko en je. Ke, I know what. Eh, money, you became your see. Yeah, oh, sorry, I can see a loss at all. Oh, go ahead, but you cheat. I mean, 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 Orina, orina gan. Shogbo. Omeni, omeni to follow you to laye. She in sol niye de yimbo. Yo ban in sol. Omeni to to follow you to to you e follow you laye. Oji she alone. Anything on leka kiri. Bo nori na ju. Ah. Bibeli ki dale orore. The Bible cannot contradict itself. Ojise Olorun Ojise Olorun awa e te len pe lojise Olorun a ri nkan kan O o gbo ni i to ba jora e loju to ba lo ba Olorun ko Olorun fona mi wa ri very soon aya lo ri ran je boya kin yabara e je mo bi nu o let me make a detour from my original sermon if you are humble enough to go and meet the Lord, that please show me the way. It, before you got blind, He had been waiting for you. He's been waiting for you. Now, give me Isaiah 42. I'll just come back to my sermon and close. Isaiah 42, 16. You, you read this there. Because there is nothing outside of the word of God. Isaiah 42, 16. Abun Binuni, help me. But only I will bring the blind by a way they did not know. Only I will lead them in paths they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked places straight. These things I will do for them and not forsake them. Now, that is only God that can show you the way. That's what he has said. Now, Look at what you are running after. Give me from verse 19. Talo follow Juju. Isaiah 42, 19. We'll read this together. Maybe I will just close uh, and help you pray for five minutes. Isaiah 42, 19. Is it not there? Abiko Deveni. Somebody shout hallelujah. Tell your friend, please look up. Okay. Okay, so we shall read together. One, two, let's go. Who is blind but my servant? Or deaf, or my messenger, as my whom I sent. Who is blind? Huh? As he who is what? Eh? That means if you consider yourself perfect, you will even see the road. How much more when people come to tell you that you are perfect? <laughs> Pastor, and you don't know for a lorry, okay? Ah, if I should think, one for one thing for you at home. Ah! Baba, ah, but your son, Johnny, 
or Jadi, I shall go. Oti, Oti, so, Mabo, Koya Koya, Lenu, Alufat, or Nico, only Mabo, Penomaya, in Sora Share, Saye. You show my work on Friday, why share cash and buy a penny. Oh, what have you thought in me? Once I or I share, Saye, Olofel, no toilet. Very any question for I shall not know. At here go, Jora. My boy, pay Sinon by Moses Sokale, Lurioki, Lay your job with you. I for you, 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 I for you. Oh, pay me, pay me. Jory, on to have him or go more broke, Lurioki. Boba is your cooking and tell me, Lele. Can't talk about drug, come on. What's your own bad love? That is chef, which are you okay? Mark by what way, Tom Pau? Pastor Francis, you are quite our back. I go out for any tea, then you service. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you know. What, Baba, you know, sir. Orina, Orina, on the microphone five minutes. So that's cool. Oda Orina, one to generator. Cause she's a human. Oh, parai. Orina, on the top one. No, we don't think that. Dura. If you want my face, go my face. Take Benny. Orina. About money, you need money. Most of when I want to for Juju. Ten your body, Jora. Lo, you ten your feet, pump way. O tu bante loda. Oni, oni who is blind as he who is perfect. I'm blind as who? As who? Eh? I should close or I should complete it. Give me twenty. Why we gonna refer to our end? Twenty. Let's let's read twenty together. One to go. One to go. Seen many things, but you do not. Openly, but ah, or a tiba basso. Oh, yeah, yeah, me, pada. A letty baba gadi. I'm gonna need your help. Oh, boy. So, what go on? Lord, you clear? Anyway, all of my dear, give me a bag of All of my, all of my dear, give me All of my dear, you go. My back of mother, fair on that. I love him so much. So he came up with some policies recently in a vibrant organization. Ah, people say, ah, Baba is powerful. Abala guara gun, abala guara. I never bought it to Joe. So when his uh, second in command came to play with me, so I said, I observed certain things happening the last time I came to greet you people. I said that was exactly this thing that happened, exactly happened with my choir in church. I said, I prayed and prayed and prayed before God gave me a way out. I said, you know, those who could come to vigil, you know, our choir, we're going to look more and more. Then I said they will be having vigil before Thanksgiving Sunday. I didn't send them home. So, as they were having the vigil, they would put it at some hard times. But you had your Wednesday. Now, those who are busy, who will go to work, can't make the vigil. Then their leader now said, if you don't come to vigil, you cannot fish up. I didn't send them home. Now, I thought it was a good policy, maybe discipline. Until one day I, 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 I mounted the stage. I looked at the microphones, made your money. In your major, you know, I went, ah. Boy, it's too jolty, too jolty, too jolty. It's too jolty, too jolty, too jolty. Boy, 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 boy,
right in the, in the service. I said, please, any member of the congregation, if you want to join the choir, please come, 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 come. I saw one guy who came from another. I said, come, you will be the head of the instrumentalist from today. Eh? Uh, so the choir said, no, no, I want to call you. 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 I want to we boy, it's two job. It's two job. Oh boy, on light tea, on shit tea, add it. I know on the car, I cook bun kakang. Cook bun kakang. Huh? And huh? On the mug bar. On the mug bar. Ah, mommy, I should pack it today. So ah, when daddy and wife no test sir, it's a bad crusade, you know. I want a German car. Me only lost crusade at Jetting Car. While I came back to crusade, Bay Bukan, what she can say, Bay Tony, Lumi Lucet, Bay Yamio Shibad, crusade in Adun. And it's a young Yolen, Emma Wow. Emma, I know, la 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 la. And it's a young one you bear what before now, son. Emma, what? Emma, what? Emma, ah, bon, what? What? I mean, I do because only toilet bony. No, the fair little toilet. I too fall bold, Taja. Emma, what? Tabare, you can't do it. Lay yard or two a lane. Emma, what? Bill. Oh, oh, and two of our fish, you can come from a long way and told you not to get it. Hey, by the other way, I keep better killing she. I'm on Sonny. About you, you're long, giddy. Call me better on toy share, you don't know. Oh, my God, you was good, son. In all Kenya, let me go back to this revelation of a thing. Borrow me three more minutes. Sorry, I'm done. This is how God speaks in this present dispensation. Acts chapter 16, 6 to 10, and I will close. Acts chapter 16, verse 6 to 10. You will have your plans, then as you carry him along in the midst of your plans, he will come to confirm to you what you should do from what you shouldn't do. Acts chapter 16, 6 to 10. Bible says, Now when they had gone through Phrygia and the region of Galatia, they were forbidden by the Holy Spirit to preach the word in Asia. They were forbidden because the Holy Spirit had a foreknowledge of the mind of the Father. They were forbidden by the Holy Spirit to preach the word in Asia. Seven. Afterward, after they had come to Mysia, they tried again to go into Bithynia, but the spirit, spirit did not permit them. Verse 8. So passing by Mysia, they came down to Troas. Nine. Nine now. And a vision appeared to Paul in the night. A man of Macedonia stood and pleaded with him, saying, Come over to Macedonia. How many previous attempts? Huh? Two. The Holy Spirit did not sign. Motion fee, Pasco, the answer system by on so pain incorrect. Immediately they allowed the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit now told them where they should be. You know, the hodge came. They wanted to do something, which is natural. They wanted to do something. It's natural. Now, if they were not familiar with the voice of the Holy Spirit, they would have gone in the, right, in, in the wrong direction. Yeah. And they would be busy in, the, in that Pirigia, or what did they call it? When it really thought. This is the problem that is happening here is the territorial something. Uh, Elisha pours out. We will pour out. Mm. 
No, 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 no. Uh, the intercessors are not praying sufficiently, no. I'm a lossy, I'm a lossy become a draw by any. What could you see between what and yet to the magician? I may yon to win your shade, Tolan Oba. It won't allow you. It won't. That <laughs> you felt like it does not mean it, it, it is in the book written for you. Give it to the one who probably has found it in his own book. You can't do everything. You can't. <laughs> uh, my people will come and say, Pastor, uh, you see, uh, assuming we are doing something, morning, for you to have received that body, <laughs> that means God sent you to us. Oh, my Just like Pastor came down and said, Seminar somewhere. I even sometimes help them to pay. And when you come, I say, I hope you enjoyed the conference. When are they having another one? Send your delegation. I'm not one of the conference. I just be looking at myself, okay, man. <laughs> Talo 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 Fabruku is in Daddy can help you. He had worked with one ministry. So he said, God said he should be writing books. I said, if God had told you to be writing books, did he not tell you who would buy it? <laughs> if you give him 1,000 today, he's going to give it to a publisher. Oh, oh, daddy, and we come. <laughs> so I called my other people to your jury. Money offer new offer. It's on a haro, 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 haro. In no time, he had about 200 volume. I said, Me lolo ye de koko. He way, Baba de boye. I'll do kalo fi espaya. One of the things, 800 naira lay your can, I'll do kalo. He way ye one year ni. Koro yon lo ju atira. Bo lo so internet, dollar wa fira. One year. Linyo, he way kan. You went there, Monto Vitale. You went out to run five hundred naira to ten years. I ran a little bit of a way in one year, eight hundred naira. Well, last year they said they sold two point seven million copies. That means there's already a captive market. There's already a captive market. So this man said, God told him, he heard very well, he should be writing books. Money. When he told you, did he not tell you? Those who will buy them. Oh, call we call daddy come in. You can walk and come back and call we. Mo ya be mo go no mi oba mo sa. Then one ring me like can one be. Mo mo joke me 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 mo ti ma ko. To ina la fi ona mo lo ka we. To bi ti. Me ba me ba mo we ko. Ah mo mi bo no wa ko we. I call we. Most I drive for money. Sure, it's a me. Yeah, all on my dear, can call on. Conscience, but both of you, young she, no longer fear. I shall see. Came up on your island. These days, that gray hair has started coming at 35. You will now be wasting your years over what does not concern you. They wanted to go in some different direction. The only thing said, if you go, you sponsor yourself. You sponsor yourself. Now, when they were done, because they already obeyed the Holy Spirit, when they invited them to Macedonia, they were pleading. Antonio Molobican, Ankawa Nishori, and you're going to laugh very. 
eyin la feri i oro iso ki se pe toro gbe soju titi gbe mo i was telling you about stores right on the main road just now nobody nobody but if they have not sent you there if you went there you just went to see a movie but if you wait for revelation if you wait on the holy spirit even even in the midst of it if you had been stubborn the lord has a way of making up for your obedience a way of making up for your obedience isaiah 42 16 he said i am the one who will lead the blind in the way that i does not know so i said if you are like me how would you make your prayers alone me or you know you know where you all day to me you see I went to I was in Italy and um, you know there's a road called Pajoro in Italy when I left Italy I went to Sweden then from Sweden I went to Germany now if you see the things yo have you ever been to Beirut oh Beirut o so ko ri ran ni e o me so re mi tun mo se wa mi o de bi gan kan ri o mi o ri anything Oluwa jo fun na mi. Oluwa jo mo je nje bi aye. Oluwa e wola e wola mo na jo fun na mi. Oluwa mo mo je nte. Mo won gbo nje fun en restaurant ho jeri. Ore mi kan fe o book flight won wa ni ko book o nje ta je. Bi o mo o. O ba lo click o nje kan ro ko smart. Abade no aeroplane. What is my number? Oh, she, 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 Well, I want to know the name that is called. Monele, oh, because it's been very shaking. My friend, just money shaking. Only I booked mine with the flight. Money, money, boy. Show what plane you're in. Only only two more options. You're one. Why did you do that? Only only look. I wanted to serve you. You must serve me now, my dear Lord. iro nu ba dori agba kodo mo ba na mo nje ti mo nje mo nje ti ma tu fi bota sori mo ba ba pe omo kekere to npo nje ati mo this man made a mistake i think i said this thing that i booked i think it's for vegetarians only yes vegetarian en to book kan to wa pe mi o la won lo nje vegetarian mo mo lo mo no book Etie me lo oni meji ki lo fi nse oro bo ba tu fe wo balu duro di gba tan ba gbo nje de duro di gba tan ba gbo nje wa ro nje mi bayi o muruko e i was flying from one state in america to another sometimes and i you know they will, they will serve you some crackers and be juice so you have to buy food online There was a white man beside me with the wife. I mean mojo ko se stream live matter. I brought out my mastercard. Me no master on. I first looked at the menu list. Mo ripo me no ka. Me mi o mo yiti ma mu be. So ti mo ri ti daddy en ra kini e. Gbogbo table kun ni. So I asked him I said, "What's this one called?" He said, "You want it?" I said, "Yes." As I said, how much is the entire package? Say nine dollars. I let them bring my own. They brought it. So it's more than ten thousand. To buy the little lady, you are loving them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Awa ara ukula wa. Ara akoko for work and not quickly leave. Show she she. She or she she. mo le ti e gan ko ra mo re fi e test ni 
Bazi ni pe ohun kun mo yorun ta ba ri afoju bi temi loni ti o ni jora re loju ta to olorun alaye lo ta so pe olorun fona mi lato ni lo ko si igbese ti wa gbe ti olorun o ni da si if you would just release yourself knowing that there had been an original plan for you and uh, you just tell him lord i've come to do your will oh lord show me the way i'm telling you it shall be said concerning you that failure in your in the history of your family ended with you but don't matter ni jakule nu ebi re won ma to ka si won wa ni what is this boy using that is always getting resort if i have anyone like that here this morning just rise up to your feet two minutes i pray with you i'm done there's a book written for you the days fashion for you even before they started to count you didn't come here by yourself god had you in mind he made preparations just lift up your two hands and thank him for what he has done you could not have killed yourself you could not have sent your son your first born son to pay this price that he paid on the cross of Calvary Malachi chapter 6 and verse 7 you could not have killed your son uh, what you are trying to achieve God knew about it even before he dropped it on your mind uh, why don't you just lift up your two hands and thank and thank him thank him thank him thank him thank him Lord, I bless you. Lord, I honor you. Talk to him, Lord. Show me the way. Show me. Show me the way. Show me the way. Show me the way. That I may walk with you. Show me your way. Keep asking him. I put my trust in you. The cry of my heart is to know you more. I'm still in the thrust of your hand, stronger each day. Show me the way. One more minute, just ask him, Lord. Show me your way. Tell me your plans. Teach me how to take the steps. Reveal, reveal your original plans. Lord, just tell me. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Just 